Hey guys, this slide I'm going to take you how to program uh, through how to program the drums into BandLab. So these screenshots here on this slide show you what your um, in your drum machine what each line should look like. So as you can see, you've got a line of red dots, you've got a line of purple dots, a line of orange dots. They correspond to different drums, different instruments. The red ones are hi hats, the purple ones are snare drum, and the orange ones are the bass drum. They're the three most important parts of a drum group. So listening to Dua Lipa, as you have been, you'll really know these these parts and those instruments when you hear them. Instead of clicking on this first green box here, I'd like you to click on this second green box that says Drum Machine. This will add a drum machine track in for you. It will automatically generate this, A and B, which is what we need. We're going to focus on A first of all. You can know that it's A because at the bottom there it says Add A and a is highlighted green there. Now, as you can see, there's lots and lots of dots already clicked on this. If we go back to our slide here, you can see that we don't need that many dots. If we focus on one instrument at a time, so we'll start with the red dots at the top here for the hi-hat. You can see that there's boxes that are light gray, dark gray, light gray, dark gray, and they're each divided into four. We need a red dot at the in the first box of each light grey, dark grey, light grey, dark grey. We go back to our um, band lab. You can see that we've got two in each box, so we need to delete them. We don't need that yellow one first of all. We need to delete any that aren't on the first. You do that just by clicking on it and it will disappear. Like this. So our first line of red, our hi-hat looks exactly the same. As our first pattern. Now we need to look at our snare pattern, our purple pattern. So that happens in the dark grey boxes on the first box. So dark grey columns, first box. And they're the same, which is excellent. Now we go back and look at our bass drum. You can see that that is in the light grey columns in the first box. Light grey columns in the first box. So that one's right, this one's not, this one's right, this one's not. We've also got this one here which we need to take out to. Now we've got our groove for our first pattern. So when we play it, you'll see that it does this. Brilliant. I'd now like us to click on, oh no, not do that. Like us to click on drum machine B here. This will bring up even more boxes like this. Okay, we we don't want lots of this. We again we need to make B look exactly the same as this. So as you can see, we'll start with our line of red. It's in the first boxes again, but we've got one in the dark grey column at the end in the third box. So if we unclick this. You'll notice that this is in the right place already. One and there, brilliant. We don't need any green, we don't need any pink. We've just got purple and orange, perfect. We'll then come back to here and look at our purple line. So we've got it, the first column of dark gray in the first one, second column of dark gray, we've got it in the first and the third. Go back to here, we've got it in the first one there, we've got it in the first one there. So the third one, if we click on that, that will add it in and it will make the noise as it does so. Last one, our bass drum, our orange boxes. The first one here. The second light grey column, we need two, one in the first box and one in the third box. So we've got one in the first box here. Got one in the first box here. First box there. And we don't need that one. So now we're going to play just this part by moving this marker here like that and that will just play groove B. Now we've got our patterns correct. Now what we need to do is arrange them so that they're in the right order of that groove. So if we get our little pointer, can you see that when I hit hover over there, I get a little arrow. What you need to do with this is reduce the size of pattern A first of all to three bars. 
then you get your little arrow at the end of B and reduce that again. This is using my mouse just to that red box there. So that's one bar now. And then I'm going to move drum pattern B into that space there. So now we've got four bars, pattern A, three bars, one bar of pattern B. You press this button here, that will come all the way back to the beginning. Now we can play it and listen to what we got. Of course, the submission that we're going for is eight bars long. So the last thing we need to do is click hold of drum machine A and use our copy and paste functions. So it's exactly the same as copying and pasting text, if you're familiar with doing that with on a Chromebook or on a MacBook. So on a Chromebook, the shortcut is Control and C. Might make that noise, by the way. You then get this, see this bar? Tells us where we are. You put it at bar five and then press Control and V. And it will copy and paste it there for you. And those of you that are ahead in the lesson, because I know there's a lot of you, we do the same with the next groove B. But except this bar's already here. There we go. So now we've got eight bars of our drum groove, and it should sound like this. When you've done that team and it looks and sounds the same as that you've done this task really well done finish this video move on to the next part but keep this open okay keep this open because we're going to work on this project as we go keep up the good work